Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, this is your weekly reading for June 25th through July 2nd. Sign of Libra, general, general life. We're just going to open it up and see what happens. And I think we'll take five cards down. Okay, while I'm doing this, a couple of quick announcements. I've got summer sales going on at my website right now. I've knocked uh, money off of each reading, and I've added extra time. On every reading I sell, I'm going to give you guys more of myself. I'm going to give you extra time. So, go ahead, Weebly website or ask me through an email same process we'll get it going we'll get invoicing started so you can get a reading meant just for you in pretty short order it's usually no more than a business week uh framework so it's good it's all good now at the end of this reading i'm going to go over to my vimeo channel and run a love reading just for you so reach out to me and let me know what you want now libra the king of wands king of wands taking taking command over your passions in life showing more passion in your life taking charge of the things that make you happy i have to keep it on a generic level it could talk about an individual, uh, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But for me, I think this talks about a period of passion and excitement coming along for my Libra. Now, let's see what we've got. The Nine of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. What I really feel is coming out of this is that you are in a time of pleasure and play before you have to go back to work. I think for some of you this is going to talk about your vacation time, your time of attaching to the things that make you happy. Physical activities, swimming, biking, picnicking with the children, traveling, definitely, but these are group activities. So I see that there's something going on around Leo or Libra. For most of you, it's based around a group activity, a family activity, a large group of people coming together. I think if you're traveling outside of the country, uh, there's an awareness of maybe friction or a element of maybe static in the energy. You may be going to a place where there is known conflict. But I think where you're going and what you're planning you're feeling safe, whether you're going to a place that's being threatened by violence or not. Because right now, we're all being faced with that if we're traveling. One of the first questions we're asking ourselves, especially if we're traveling abroad or to big cities or to very large group events, <clears throat> airports, train stations, football games, uh, baseball games, uh, soccer stadiums. There's an atmosphere that you may feel a little bit of security presence where you're at. They're there to protect you wherever you're traveling to. That's the general message that's being sent to me through this. The, the uh, presence of security just is that indication that they're 
holding back any threat that might you feel might be coming uh, towards you where you're at anywhere in the world. Now, I've also got this Three of Pentacles. Do you mean that means that after this period of fun and activity, large groups, group enthusiasms, group celebrations, group happiness, uh, in the abundance, there is going to be a period, a realization that there is going to have to be a time to come back to earth and go back to work. But I don't see that happening for a lot of you until after after the 4th of July, the 5th of July even. So, let's take a quick look at any clarifiers. For some of you, it's a time of rest. It's a time of recuperation. It's a time of sleep. Um, sunbathing. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, uh, there has been a bit of hectic nature around work for some of you. There have been conflicts within the workplace for some of you. And this is a time to clear your head, to think new thoughts, uh, have a good time, relax, talk to people, communicate, um, this to me feels like an era of freedom, it feels like, you know, wheels are up and we're ready to have a good time, you're traveling, you're experiencing new things, new places, new people. It feels like it's going to be a very good, solid, celebratory week for my Libra friends. So wherever you're going to, wherever you're off to, Libra, the energy looks really good. Be certain if you're traveling out of the country or to a strange place. I think you're protected both on a spiritual level and I think if you're going to a place like London <clears throat> or France where there have been, you know, Belgium where there have been threats of violence, I think the presence of security will make you feel all the more certain that you're safe. I think, though, that the reality of coming back to the day-to-day -day may just be... Uh, for some of you, it's going to feel like the end of the celebration. For some of you, for one reason or another, you have a reason to go back home with something to celebrate. And I'm going to say that for some of you, some of you experience something very special on this retreat time, whether it's out of the country or one town over in a little cabin by a lake, whatever this is for you, something very personal and it's very much grounded in your happiness, in a celebration. And that's coming your way, too. And now I think I'm finished, Libra. So I'm going to go over to my Vimeo channel and do a love reading for you now. Have a good time wherever you go here, Libra. Whatever the holiday season brings you, for the most part, I think Libras are going to be having a really uh, splendid time, whatever it is that you do. Again... If you want sale prices, right now is the time to grab them. Go over. I'm limiting uh, this package. For now, it looks like I'm going to go to the end of July. So if you want to, want to take advantage of the sale price for the summer, you've got to do it before July 31st. That's where I'm cutting it off. I'm taking appointments on that sale until the 31st is what it looks like right now. 
So go ahead, jump ahead, get that reading if you want the special price with the extra time added on. Okay, that's what I've got. Now I can so talk about love. Take care, Libra. Be well. Have fun and peace.